Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Creatively Chrissy. If you saw my previous video where I did a monthly reset for my art goals for the month of August, you'll know that I need to finish 30 pages by August 27th. So I figured why not do a video of me filling up a couple pages. Of course, it didn't end up going exactly as planned. I was hoping to do maybe two to three pages for my sketchbook, but it ended up just being about one and a half, I would say. But in the end, perhaps it was a secret blessing because then this video would have been way too long. As it is, I would have had it, if I left it at normal speed, it would have been 40 minutes long. So I shortened it down to 20 because I'm not sure if any of you would want to sit through a 40 minute video of me talking or music or any of that sort of thing or even just a long video in general. I don't know if you guys would want to sit through that. I'm not sure if that's something you guys want. So if it is, let me know. I'd be happy to film more videos longer than this one. It's just shy of 18 minutes. So I did cut out a lot of my hand pausing. I also sped up the video video times two just so it would be less than 20 minutes because I thought any longer than 20 minutes you guys aren't gonna watch that. Of course I could be wrong and you could definitely let me know. The other thing I'm really curious about is whether you would have preferred music instead of me talking or if you'd like a combination or would you prefer me to talk about a topic or something over the sketches I'm doing. Yeah so let me know about that because I definitely want to cater these videos to you guys. And I know my first video, all about time management tips and tricks for artists, had a lot of views and a lot of um, likes. So I definitely wanna give you guys some more tips and tricks for other topics, not just time management. So that is in the works, but let me know what kind of things you would like to, I guess, hear from me. Another thing I wasn't sure about was ASMR, if that's something you guys would like. I know some people are really into that, myself included, but it is a little difficult for me to do ASMR at this time because I'm not living alone. It's very hard for me to have a quiet moment in this house at a time it's convenient for me to record so there is some difficulty with that but maybe in the future I can give that to you so the pictures I used as reference are all from Pinterest if you look in the description you'll find a list of them they're in order of beginning of video to end of video if you see one of these drawings and you want to look at the reference photo you can definitely go to Pinterest and look at them. I wanted to put the references as an overlay on the video so you guys could draw along with me, but I figured I'd play it safe just because I wasn't sure how that works with copyright and all that. So if someone does know, please let me know. But all the images are in the description. Please feel free to draw along with me. Obviously not at the speed I'm going at because this is two times the speed. I think this whole spread, the two pages, took me about uh, a little over an hour and then I had I had to go through and edit a bunch of pauses out because I did stop to look at reference photos and I was listening to music at the time so I had to pause to change the song. As I said I'm gonna do a mix of talking and music so at some point I'm just gonna go to music for a little bit and then at the end of the video I, if you guys want to stay tuned which I recommend you do I will be telling you my favorite drawing out of all the ones I did on this page. As for the doggies that you see on the left page. I did those at an earlier date. You can even see the dates next to the drawings themselves. And then that one picture on the right page the, in the upper corner of the pit bull that was also done at an earlier date. I'm just trying to get these pages done because I really do want to hit that goal of finishing 30 pages by August 27th. And the reason why I want to finish a sketchbook by the end of Q3 is because I want to share it with you guys. I want to do a sketchbook tour, so I want to kind of finish it in a timely manner. Obviously, I'm not like rushing things. I'm drawing what I want to draw, and whenever I open this sketchbook, I'm drawing for fun. It's And it's a special time for me because it's nice to sit down and just, you know, do a drawing. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that I'm using ballpoint pen. I hate drawing with pen. I do not enjoy it as much as drawing in my colored pencil, which 
you'll see when I go to the next page, I'll switch over to pencil. That's like a reddish color. But I know there are many benefits to drawing with ballpoint pen and I'm hoping I'll get better with it and I'll enjoy it more just because I know it is a valuable thing to practice just because it teaches you to draw lighter. You can't erase the whole, it's permanent. So it, it really makes you think about, I mean, I'm still not at the point where I'm thinking about every single line I put down, but you can see I use the ghosting method quite a few times throughout the drawing process of each of these sketches. And I think that's a very important skill to have. I, I will say I don't dislike it as much as I used to. Uh, it has grown on me a little bit, but if you give me the choice of choosing a pen or a pencil, I'm always going to choose a pencil. And it's not because of the erasing so much. I just enjoy how the implement works works it's smoother it's i don't know like i feel like sometimes even when i'm I, like when i'm trying to draw lightly there's not even a mark on the page once i start adding even a little bit of pressure the pen just starts going way too dark for me and i get upset so it, it's a little frustrating for me but i actually did enjoy using the pen for these drawings surprisingly enough i wasn't too upset with how they came out except for that little corgi at the bottom i don't know what the hell happened with that corgi I really don't. Like, if you check out the reference image in the description box, you'll see what I mean. It kind of looks like him, but at the same time, like, you'll see I zoomed in on, like, where it says evil laughter. Because it just looks like this evil gremlin sort of thing. And corgis are so cute. So I don't understand where that went wrong. I'm sure if I painted it or I drew it with, like, a pencil, it might look better. Like, otherwise, I was pretty happy with most of the drawings I did for this, this spread. And the pen didn't bother me so much. Like, that's one of the things that used to bother me for some reason. Whenever I drew with pen, like, I never was happy with the finished sketch yeah i do eventually get into pencil later on in this video but i just wanted to talk a little bit about the ballpoint pen i would watch draw with waffles how to draw with a ballpoint pen i also believe sarah tepes and i'm so sorry if i said that wrong she also has a, a video about drawing with ballpoint pen or sketching with ballpoint pen and they both go over the benefits and they both seem to enjoy it so that's why i'm trying to like be better about using it at least once in a while maybe i'm using the wrong pens i mean they make some recommendations in their videos so i'll link both of them in the description so you guys can go check them out but maybe i'm just using the wrong ballpoint pen and sometimes that that is the case i mean you don't need expensive or fancy products to draw but sometimes if you want a certain effect or for your own comfort yeah you do and uh unfortunately that's the way it goes like sometimes that the more money you pay for something the better quality it is and i mean it's not a universal truth but maybe it is with ballpoint pen so that's it guys i'm gonna cue the music for a little bit now and then at the end i'll tell you which one was my favorite sketch Thank you. 
So you've made it to the end of the video and I really appreciate it and I would also really appreciate it if you gave this video a like, especially if you liked it. I mean, don't like something you don't like, but if you give this a thumbs up, it lets me know that you liked this kind of video and then I can make more like this. So that would be extremely helpful. Also in the comments, tell me if you prefer music or talking or a mix of both or ASMR in these kinds of videos. Do you like them sped up? Do you like them normal speed? Let me know. And if you want to see more videos from me, consider subscribing to this channel and ring that little bell so you know when a video comes up. I post every Wednesday and Saturday and I have quite a few videos planned. Now I'm going to tell you, as promised, the favorite sketch I did. And that would be 
the drawing of the Dalmatian. It was so cute. I love the little sunglasses. It was just a cute reference photo. I couldn't resist drawing it and I'm so happy with how it came out even though it doesn't look exactly like the reference image. Why don't you guys let me know your favorite down in the comments. I know they're not perfect but hey if you saw one that you liked let me know i'm curious and that's it for today guys i'll see you on saturday with another video have a great day